Hi everybody, this is Bahamut of Xtrades. Over at Xtrades, I am an analyst dealing mainly with day trading small caps and micro caps and the occasional swing trades as well. Uh, before we begin, if you guys like what we do over here, please like and subscribe. And if you will, go join us over at our Discord channel. So today we're going to review the ticker GNS for Genius Group Limited. I want to go over how we found this ticker and overall how we traded it as well. Because we traded this several times because the momentum was clearly there and we were able to capitalize on it several times. So to start off, we had news on this ticker. Um, here's an article from Benzinga. This article is detailing mainly why, you know, why the stock was rocketing for a couple of days now. And essentially it's because the company is going to try and tackle, um, the illegal, uh, actions of, uh, naked short selling. And so what is naked short selling? It's a process where you can essentially short a stock without ever owning or borrowing the shares that's necessary to short the stock. Now, <clears throat> what that does it is it creates a very unfair atmosphere and a huge imbalance for the trading of that ticker. Now, because the group came out and, you know, the company came out and said that they wanted to um, basically create a task force to tackle that elite, you know, those illegal actions of naked short selling, that is what caused some huge momentum for this stock. Now, GNS as a whole, it's not a very high short interest ticker. Um, Finviz is not always spot on um but even finviz and yahoo finance they they have this maybe around 10 percent or so or a little bit more as for short interest i've seen i've seen some uh maybe like 20 percent or so from other sources it's not it's not up there with uh some other tickers but it's high enough to to create some momentum and give it some more attention but this article um, is definitely highlighting the real reason why it, it went up. So here is the chart for GNS. And you can see it has severely diminished volume for a while now, up until, you know, this past week, one, two, you know, week and a week and a half or so. So it caught my eye. For two reasons. One, because um, Benzinga, which has a nice pre-market scanner, and it even has a free one as well, um, it had GNS going off that morning and showing huge momentum. And the other thing is why I traded it is because I saw a cup and a cup and handle pattern present. So here we have. The original cup and handle, because I'll get to the other one soon. This is where the cut, the first cup and handle was present. And here's the cup, and here's the pullback. These two days saw a pullback, and the volume wasn't that great either on on that pullback, which is why it also interested me in entering a position here. Um, so we'll go to the four hour, which is shows a little bit more of a visible cup and handle. Here's the handle here. So how do we trade this for one? Well, proper way is proper way is to start a position. Once you see a breakout of the upper trend line of the handle, which is this blue line here, 
and you can begin a long position there and you can stop out if it goes back in the handle and below it as well the idea is you might see a fake out break uh, breaking out from this handle and then it might retrace and come back into the handle and you don't want to stop out very quickly but you do want to stop out if it definitely breaks below the lower trend line of the handle so <clears throat> I have a long position tool here that I was using on trading view and once I entered um, in pre-market it was on the break of the handle I entered at around 68 cents that was near the top of the handle you because you want to enter when when it breaks the handle you also want to see confirmation when it breaks over the highest edge of the cup which was around 70 cents. So I entered right around there and momentum continued that morning on very, very nice relative volume in pre-market. So we had the price target was basically right at the $1 range. And you get that by taking the uh, the lowest price of the cup and extending that up into the highest point and this is that blue area right here I took that and I um, replicated it into this one right here and what you do is you stack them you take this one you stack it right above where the breakout is on the handle and that would give you a target of about a dollar. And I have other price targets listed here on these green lines. So we entered at around 68 cents. We took profit. And I'll go to a smaller time frame. We took profit right around 85 cents which is a small resistance over here on this uh, trading range in early November that's where it dropped and it failed to get back over 85 and these two candles both closed right at around 85 so <clears throat> we ended up closing the position there but not fully because I still believe that the $1 range would play out from the cup and handle pattern, which it, which it clearly did. And then $1, we exited the position for the, for the runners. I usually leave around 25% of the position for runners. And then what happened later on in the day, we saw continued momentum. And another cup and handle was created. So this cup and handle goes from all the way back here from late October. And it stretched all the way to the after hours trading session for GNS. And this saw over $2 in the regular session. And it had a pullback, which created uh, the, uh, the handle right here. You could also argue this is a bull flag in itself and then this is the pullback but I was trading this as an even larger cup and handle and what I did was I entered for a second time that was in after hours at around 250 because once that cup and hand once that broke out of the pullback It came up here and started having another another base and this blue shaded area here is the depth of the larger cup and handle 
replicated to show where it broke out at around $1.82. And it has a high price target of around $3.45. So I ended up taking profits at around $3.30. That was in pre-market the following day. That was basically the start of this candle, which we saw, ultimately, we saw this go over $5. It spiked hard in the morning and leveled off for the rest of the day. And that's where we entered for a third time. That third time is now, um, I believe, a three, $3.48, I think, is where we entered for a third time. And that's where this zone right here is being formed. And this looks like another possible, you know, handle on maybe a larger cup or on a, a flag, the flag on a bull flag. Either way, we're going to be trying to play this again Monday, Monday morning pre-market. I'm definitely expecting some kind of retracement up here. This is also what I like to call a pop and fade, which is another word. It could be describing a, a bull flag. So we have the pop here, and it fades and levels off, forms a nice base. And we should see a nice pop on Monday. So here's a nice zoomed out picture of GNS and how I'm going to be playing this in the coming trading session. So we have this old zone right here, which was forming support and then failed. And now we are officially above that. So I'll be trading this next zone right here, which was proven support. And then this is on the daily chart as well. And then when it came back down, we had a little pivot here between these two candles, held support, but then failed. So now we're going to be trying to trade this zone right here, which is right around $4. So I'll just extend this over here. We also reached a resistance here on a uh, a channel or a wedge, however you want to look at it. So I'm going to, that's, that would be a high resistance around 516. So right now my next resistances are, um, are going to be 355 and around the 4.2 area. And then we're going to go back up to 478, 520 which is right at that pivot that I, that I just mentioned right here. And then beyond that, we'll go to the next main support area, which was going back to July of last year, which is right around the 545 area. Beyond there, my I have my next price target at 6 and then 6.68. That would be well over this trend line here. And there's plenty of room above there. As you can see, the price fell and did not catch any support from those pro uh, previous levels. So there is plenty of room to the $9 to $10 range. I'm not promising anything. But a ticker that has a decent amount of short interest and now it now is actively targeting naked short sellers. This has definitely the most momentum. And there's a couple of other tickers as well, such as um, HLBZ. And I'm sure others will start to follow as well. And we'll be also creating task forces to target illegal naked short selling. 
The two positions we've had so far on GNS were both around 30 to 35 percent profits. And on the next one, I'm aiming for roughly the same. So, so let's take the Fibonacci tool and we'll do a high to low retracement. And we'll take our long position tool, place it where I entered. I think the 0.618 is a reasonable price target on this retracement, which will give us about another 27% for this position, if everything goes well, of course. And we will plan to stop out below this range, if this range fails. So I like the four hour candles on here, which is some nice support around 317. So if that fails, then I will likely stop out. And we will definitely be trying again on this if that position fails, because I, I really believe this momentum is not going to go away uh, for this week. I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or definitely check us out on our Discord channel and I will definitely get back to any comments on there or on this video. So thank everybody for watching and good luck trading.